One out of every four Ugandan adults suffers from high blood pressure today. High blood pressure is a common condition in which the long-term force of the blood against your artery walls is high enough that it may eventually cause health problems. It really affects the heart so much if it is not controlled. It can affect the organ, per se, by way of making it grow bigger when it is trying to help you not feel the condition. So as it is trying to control your life, your yeah. blood flow, because of uncontrolled high blood pressure, the heart can enlarge. It becomes bigger. And when it becomes bigger, it's no longer the size it's supposed to be. Slowly but surely, it will go into what we call heart failure. Cardiovascular illnesses kill up to 18 million people globally. And according to Dr. Wilson Nyakozo, Ugandans are still at a high risk of suffering heart complications. Ugandans are fond of eating junk food. Each evening you pass all these roads in Kampala, they have what you call bufundas, where people are eating roasted chicken, you know, and uh, they consume a lot of alcohol, they smoke, all those, those are factors which definitely affect the heart. Dr. Nyakozo says heart complications are many, but there are some common ones they encounter at the Uganda Heart Institute. Coronary artery disease, which is now on the increase. What is the coronary artery disease? This is the narrowing of the blood vessels. We also see cases of patients who come with rhythm disturbances. Here in Uganda, close to 7,000 children with heart disease cannot access treatment. While marking the World Heart Day on Friday, Dr. John Omagino said the institute is hampered by a shortage of resources. Right now, the capacity of the institute is able to handle up to 1,000 operations, both in the cath lab and in the, and in the operating theater. That is the combined capacity. However, due to challenges in terms of operational budget, we are only able to churn out about 600. The remaining gaps are children who have very complex heart conditions that will be done, need to be done in about four, three, four stages. And will spend so much time in the intensive care unit that it would really paralyze the remaining part of the, function, of the services. However, Dr. Omagino says the Heart Institute has developed capacity in terms of human resources, but it is now limited by finances. All that the Heart Institute is crying for, and why some patients are filtering through, is that the facilities in terms of the space, we need more space, a home with more ICU beds, more operational space, is what we need, and an operational budget. Like the older days goes, Prevention is better than cure, and Dr. Nyakojo says heart diseases can be prevented by changing diet and exercising our bodies, but you need to be cautious of what exercises you perform. The types of exercises should be determined by your age and your needs. Dr. Nyakojo warns that you need to look out for the signs and symptoms of heart disease because early diagnosis can save your life. Let us imagine you are walking then all of a sudden you feel some tightness in the chest uh, and some pain, sharp, very sharp, sometimes not very sharp, but you feel that chest pain on the, on the side of the heart. It's a sign that you should do, run to the nearest clinic and they, they check you to find the cause of the chest pain. It could be due to a heart attack. Walter Messi J, NTV.